So now that we've opened that, which was pretty much the Nosferatu's final line of defense, I wonder why they don't seem to ever run into trouble with those creatures. For some reason they have a duck. Oh, some pleasant music. What the? What the? I'm stuck. Okay, thank you. That was bizarre. Alright. There's nothing dangerous down here. As you can see in the left there. I forget what it's called. Elysium or something? That basically means it's controlled by a powerful vampire and no combat of any sorts will happen there. As you can see, weapons not allowed, so there's nothing to fight. The only thing you do have to worry about is these steaming blood pools, which will actually hurt you. I don't know if they do aggravated damage. Oh, well, someone died here. That's not... That's not, uh, very welcoming. Oi! Okay, so it's just normal damage. But it packs a fair punch. Oh, Christmas. And it has some weird ass reflections. I'm not really sure what the issue is with the water in this game. Jump! But yeah. It's a bit bizarre. And it just looks even stranger when it's red. Alright. There are a few people down here. We will be meeting them shortly. But our true target is that Gary fellow. How's it going, bro? Oi! Uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow. You really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Had just spun enough for you. Huh? Yeesh! Software, right? <laughs> yeah, Sherry, but uh, that's a tech problem I can't fix. Well, oh yeah, sorry. Her name's Mitnick. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? The Quays boy. Surprised you actually made it down here. <laughs> yeah, who knows why you're here? The Quays must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with a Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Why am I suddenly crouching? Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep a pulse on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the ne network. I have no idea what he's about to say there. <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. Sounds boring. I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. What an odd idiom. Yeah, you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. We'd make it worth your while. 
I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> Sounds like a deal. Uh, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. Fair enough. All right. So we get a job from him later. That was odd. The voice in my head was actually coming from a direction. How bizarre. Bitch, I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month. I mean, just look at her. Too fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene, she'd still be a fluff girl at vivisection, making ten bucks a stiff if I'm still around. Ugh. What? Oh, no, you've got to be kidding. You're a Malkavian? Gary actually lets you guys in here? My day just went from bad to coach class. Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Emalia. Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in a business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big, fat ass. I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the cameras. Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood and... The clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. Maybe I killed the voice in your head, boss. Tell me, the voice in your head, why are you down here? You can trust me, boss. Think carefully. Who are you here for, and why? 
You lost, boss. I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. You may be on to something, boss. Or maybe you're still talking to yourself. Insanity isn't given enough credit. The insane know not what they do. Do you? I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like... <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on his snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. I like to discuss business face to face. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> Behind you, boss. Boo! What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. A little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Oh, is he still calling the shots upstairs? How long do you think that will last? Heard he was furious. Wish I could have been there. Well, I'll be a sport. I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Quay Jin? The Quay Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kuei Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. Miss me, boss?
Everyone, I apologize for what you have surely just noticed. Uh, it seems my uh, one of my hard drives, the one that I save my save my voice recordings to, actually ran out of space when I was not paying attention. Uh, so I kind of moved some files out of there to free up a bit more space, so it hopefully does not happen again. That hasn't happened in a long time. The last time that that actually happened was when I had uh, was when I had my Fraps recording saving to the same drive, but I don't do that anymore. So you'll notice we're back here in the mausoleum. That was where Ginger Swan's place was. Nothing new there. Makes me wonder why her body isn't in there anymore. That's a bit disturbing. Now what we could do while we're here is that quest that I was uh, ignoring for a while. Basically, there's this guy in there and he hires us to protect this gate and the one up there from zombies that come out and it's not easy to do. But what the hell, we'll give it a shot. Do that one. Whatever. So we can just uh, let ourselves in. Oh there, Slick. I want to think about knocking next time I damn near blew your head off. Thought you might be a zombie. Zombie? Who else would be waltzing in here in the middle of the night? Name's Romero. I'm the caretaker here. Well, that is, I don't exactly keep people from getting in. Although that is part of my job. No. You see... Oh, well, you're not doing a very good job. I've been in and out here like crazy. See, it's like this. Every night around this time for the past, oh, several months now, the dead have been getting up with an itch to stroll down Hollywood Boulevard. Nobody knows why. But they're working on it. Till they figured out they needed a volunteer to patch the problem, and I stepped forward. Problem temporarily solved. The Baron's happy. I get to shoot zombies. And guarantee I get my blood for another month. I've carved out a nice niche here. So he's a ghoul, it seems. And he works for Isaac. Shoot them, blow them away, frag them. Whatever the situation calls for. Sometimes I throw on chopping and dicing just to mix it up. Who knows? Vampire necro hoodoo, toxic waste, solar radiation. The important part is, they continue to rise up, and I get to put them down. Everybody's a winner. Sounds wonderful. You're telling me. As far as I know, I'm the only person around Hollywood who considers marksmanship an art. A lot of the stiffs around here used to be asshole celebrities, too. Bonus. I love my job. What can I say? By the way, Hey, you wouldn't be interested in watching the place while I go handle some business, would you? I'm not supposed to leave, or it might end up in a zombie holocaust or something. Like one time, these goths snuck in. Ooh, wasn't pretty. How do I go about that? I'll be back in about five minutes. If you should see any zombies in that time, you need to put them down. Now, they're dead, so you're either going to have to hack them up good, or shoot them in the head. Just don't let them bite you. Who oh boy. No. Just hurts like a bitch. Fantastic. Only one rule. Nothing gets out. Keep them away from the front and back gates. Here. This might come in handy. Back in five. Alright, alright. This will be tough. So he gave me a new rifle. But in all honesty, shooting him in the head does not work. Hacking him up is really the only reliable way to do it. As we are well experienced with. Basically you have to kind of scope out the zombies, run between each gate just to make sure that uh, they aren't getting near it. And it, as you can imagine, you can see how slow it is just getting there. They have an interest in coming towards me, which is curious. All right, none here right now. Let's just kind of keep roaming back and forth. I mean, if they are more interested in me, that's fine, because that means they won't just be battering down the gates. Uh, nothing here so far. There's another coming out of the ground. 
It is fortunate that they are shamblers and not the uh, fast zombies that seem to be the name of the game these days. So far it's not too bad, but they start coming out in much greater numbers. I see one over there. Nope. I don't see any coming out either. Oh, here's one. Thankfully two hits is enough. Alright, that one's going for the gate. Do that. And that miss. Why did that do so little damage? Some seem to be more dead than others. Alright, I'll get those guys on the way back. I see one making a beeline for the gate now. And... re-dead. Any more? Yeah, this guy's gonna get close, I know it. That one's fine to chill there. Come on, get her! Stop wasting time! Have this, sir! Oh man, there's loads of them getting up there. That's not good. Alright, you guys are no threat at the moment, so I'm just gonna... do a mop-up. Oh, yeah, there's one hacking at the gate now. Can't quite tell how many hits the gates can actually take. It's unfortunate that it doesn't have, like, a status or anything. Christ, there's loads of them. Did another one just come up? Oh my god, dude. Oh no. This isn't good. There's so many. I have to go watch the other gate, too. Oh god, really? I wish they didn't, at, at least didn't spawn so close to it. Oh man, the other gate's probably gonna get fucked. Die already. Alright. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh yeah, there's two of them over there. Get out of the way. Maybe even more. Oh shit, there's three of them. No! Die, you fiends! Oh, this is nasty. Hey, this is dicey. This is not good. What are you doing? You gotta, you gotta hurry, you gotta hurry, you gotta hurry. Out of my way. You guys are inconsequential for now. You gotta worry about the gate. Right, there's two hacking at it. Gotta be quick. So yeah, this is quite stressful. Whew. Really just... There's no real strategy to this other than, you know, keep them away as much as possible. Fucking hell. Kind of... Oh my god, there's like four of them, five of them, six of them. I'm really concerned about the other one now. These ones just keep spawning so damn close to it. Jeez. No! That is ridiculous! How am I supposed to do this? Okay. What? Why am I back here? Okay, so you see that that is no kinds of fun. Let me show you the alternative quest. Oh, there's... Who else? Names were... See, see... You're telling me. I love... Hey! Well, if you change... Hmm. Change your mind? I'll do that. Well, uh... What business does a non-businessman do? Sometimes a man needs the kind of release putting a 44 slug through a zombie's brain doesn't provide. Come on, you're a guy, you understand, right? I get you. You need a woman of the night. Really? You will? Great. 
I'll just stay here and keep watch. Oh, and uh, FYI, I like him a little, you know, stacked. Appreciate it. Very well. I'll just have some of this if you don't mind. He's got another Ithaca, which I do not want. Whatever, I can sell it. Uh, so yeah, basically, our alternative option is to get him a prostitute. Which, if you are the persuasive type, is much, much easier. I just don't feel like dealing with that. I've, I've done it before. I've successfully done that quest. It's just so hard. Because they come in such numbers... And the gates are too far apart. Excuse me. This part can be difficult too, though, if you're not persuasive, but I think I'm persuasive enough. Persuasion is five. Hopefully that's enough. As you can imagine, she would not be too eager to go to the cemetery. But we'll have to convince her. Play along. Where is this friend of yours? Guardian of the dead? <laughs> Fear need not be your friend if you follow my path. I don't know why I should believe you. Well, okay. But I'm gonna get really pissed if you turn out to be some psycho murderer. Let's go. Yeah, you're gonna be pissed, you're also gonna be dead, but fair enough. Good day, officer. This woman with money in her G string means nothing. Oh, cops in these places. Excuse me. Uh, oh, bollocks. God, the physics. Just follow me through here, please. As you can see, she's gone, but I do believe that she successfully made it down here before us somehow. So let's just speak to the fellow. I wonder if he's named after John Romero. Most likely. Hey. Very nice. What can I give you for the assist? Currency across my palm. Ah, uh, we could learn shooting from him. When you fire, keep your eyes on the target even after you shoot. And, uh, use the sight. That's what it's there for. And style doesn't get off a jack if you can't hit anything. Keep that gun in the sight crowd in the movies. Oh, would you look at the time? Me and, uh, girl here. Got some couch Olympics to compete in. So if you don't mind. I'll just leave you to your misdeeds. So he taught us more about firearms. That's not a bad thing. I don't care about all specs, in all honesty. 